Ah. I think this moment in time could be vital for us because it's made us adapt and change and reflect on what we've been doing and actually a lot of the processes that we were doing before were they effective and some of the processes we use now in our working environment could change forever. I think obviously the, the biggest challenge we've had since I've been manager is managing this team during a pandemic and a lockdown. I have to say I, I couldn't have had a better group of players and staff to manage. They're all very self-sufficient, they drove their programmes themselves and we communicated with them very clearly throughout so they know exactly how things were moving and progressing and, and obviously now we're excited to be back in. The main challenges that we face with the players is the uncertainty. One of the challenges I didn't have was their work ethic. You know, they came back in in, in terms of after the lockdown and when we we're back in training, they come back in fantastic shape. So they've been away and working really hard. Every single day, I found three positives. You know, it might have been that the kids did something in school. It might have been that the club did something amazing because I thought the club was fantastic throughout this period. And I tried to just remind myself of the positives every day. The club have been absolutely amazing throughout this pandemic, not just with the women's team, but I think in general, from everything I've seen across the board. I've had senior management on the phone every week, just looking out for the girls, staff, is there anything we need? And making sure that we're financially stable, which is one of the biggest worries when something like this happens, but they've been outstanding, they really have. I think the biggest challenge for me during lockdown was I have a family, so I had three kids at home trying to manage a football club with three kids climbing all over you is difficult. I tried to see everything as a positive because I'm never going to get that time with my children again. In terms of my daily routine, it was essential that I kept my exercise because it's something I do as a head coach anyway. I get here before anyone else, I exercise and that's more for my mental well-being than anything. I need that, I need that release, so I kept that. I took the Watt bike home, it was in my kitchen for a while. And I tried to have some sort of structure in terms of making sure that I was doing emails at certain times and spending time with the kids at certain times and I was getting out in the fresh air so we were going for lots of walks, we were, we were going for runs as a family believe it or not, some, sometimes with the kids when we could um, and just trying to be active. I've learnt a lot about myself. I've got to be honest that I was an utter control freak. I felt like I needed to do everything if I did everything, if I wasn't involved and everything would fall apart. And what this pandemic has taught me is that I can delegate and I can trust everybody else to do the work and therefore I can keep my energy, I can stay fresh and, and my staff can an input in the areas that you know their expertise at. So I think it's it's made me learn a lot. You know, I don't have to work all hours God sends to make a successful team. I just need to be efficient with my time. I look at the players and how much they've developed in two years and it's incredible and it's credit to them and their hard work, their drive and their motivation. They take on everything we give them and you know, I, I do assess it as, as a journey. We lost games we shouldn't have lost and we, we really competed against the top teams which I don't think people would have expected us to but it's those fine margins now that we need to be more consistent with, especially in, against those teams around us. I think the one thing I'm really looking forward to as a head coach is the day that we can walk out our home stadium with our fans right behind us and back in the ground.